with absolute hippo. I think fish this is. Oh, another hippo. Hopefully that's not a sign the carpet disappeared. This is another decent fish. We're at Acorn today, drawing peg nine. A good peg, but not a peg that I traditionally do well from, although I have actually picked up off it once now, broke my duck, but not brilliant for me in in general. It's quite windy, so I'm hoping that you're not getting too much wind noise because I've kind of hidden the mic underneath my jacket. I'm just starting short, just plumbed up short here. Got a big expander on the hook and I'm just throwing in the four mil just to see if we can catch anything to start with. This is a good carp peg. So I should be able to catch some carp off it. Wind is surprisingly strong today and it's very much 90 degrees from my left. So fishing a lot long, although it's not a long peg, isn't desirable and I've, and I've purposefully not set up long so that I can't get drawn into that game of fighting the pole all day. I've set up a line here short, I've got another line to my right towards peg 8 short because peg 8 empty and then I've got an edge rig. Right, so if I see signs of fish shallow I'll just, I have got an extra couple of spare top kits on my roost, I'll have a look and see if I can uh, mug one or two or maybe uh, slap a rig in front uh, around a bit and catch a few but it's not something I want to do. Feeding a pinch of form around the float. Trying to make a bit of noise. Got a standout expander over the top, 6mm. Big nice big one. And I can catch anything to start with that on, you know, with the expander on. You could easily just catch some small stock ears, you could catch better silvers, you could catch big carp. It's just let's just see what's there in front of me on the deck. Do apologise if there's a bit of noise today. I've obviously got M5 traffic through at the Acorn again, and there's some building and construction work going on behind me. So there's diggers and caterpillar trucks and all sorts, of caterpillar vehicles and everything coming past. So it is going to be noisy. And no amount of uh, editing that I can do to get rid of that noise. Oh, wow, well, we have something there. I'll try to foul up on it. I'm just going to keep plugging away doing this. I'm not expecting a great, an amazing start. Another bite there. Might be some silver fish or roach down there. That one, and that's what we've got. That's what they are, what's in us. <laughs> well, we weren't fishing for them, but we'll take them. Big skin off, straight off the bat. So I've caught your fish for the camera. It's not what I was intentionally trying to catch. He's really had it there. It's probably that maybe this is what these early bites have been. So I wonder if that one that we struck into earlier was a foul up bream or maybe um, we just pulled out of it because we have got quite a heavy quite a heavy elastic on here. Oh yeah, that's not a that's not a that's not a silver fish. It's not a big carp, it's a carp I think. Maybe a little tent, but I think it's a carp. The tench. Well, uh, silver central at the moment. A little tension. You can slide down the bank. So yeah, we've got some silvers down on the four mills, which is good because it means something's eating the bait we're putting in, which is you know never a bad thing. Guy next to me is now his second cart. No big ones, but he's catching them. Some, something for me to think about. There's fish swirled. There are fish swirling. Sort of. Every now and again. In front of me short. So I think there are carps for shallow. There's a little tench, I think. A little carp or something. Very wiry, lively. Oh, 
it on live wires these things I'm chuck him in that like that because trying to chuck it just try and take him out then it if you try and pick them up you just drop them it's interesting I don't think they can't want to be in this depth every time I look at one of these silvers I seem to spook a carp which is only a couple of feet deep I know from experience if you try and fish for them fish that are there you just can't catch them you just don't catch them they're just a nightmare and it felt like a better bite Straight in that was. A fantastic start we're having guys. I'm just about to turn the camera off before I had that first little skimmer. Now I've kept it on. I'm having quite a few. Is this far I looked? Just I don't know what's going on with this fish. It's fighting very strangely. It's carpy. Ah, oh, I pulled out then. He was quite locked in the mouth. I'm really pulling very hard. I don't feel like I've overdone it there. It's just probably not hooked quite right. I think I'm going to start loose feeding some right, uh, eight mil pellets into my right hand margin. I found a little spot a little bit away from the edge because the bank, the bank here, the, this platform is um, it's gone in a little bit where it would have been. There's a stump there where it would have been, and they've had to pull it back a little bit. So you're a little bit further back from the bank than you would normally be, which makes it really hard to see down your margins because you're sort of three foot behind the margins. Luckily, to my right, there's like a, a flattish area, a couple, a couple of feet off the bank. So I found that area there, and uh, it's about a foot deep. So, what I'm going to do because these signs of these carp shallow. And I'll try to catch trout shallow here before and it's hard. Without cast, a lot of casters and you know, Tom doing it, which is not something I want to do. Um, I'm going to loose feed some eight mils down into the onto that flat area that, I've, that I was talking about, and hopefully the noise will draw some of these shallow carp in, and because it's only a foot deep, they'll feed there. That's my that's my thinking. The fish want to be in that depth of water, so I'm going to try and catch them in that depth of water. That's my logic, if there is such a thing. <clears throat> I'm going to do that in a minute. And just start throwing, because I'm going to throw big eight mil pellets to try and put these smaller fish off, and just go in in threes and fours. Just put them in threes and fours. They're nice and big and loud. Take me a couple of throws probably to get my aim right. I'm talking a few sections down the bank and I'll just keep throwing them every now and again oh that could be a car let's stuck that on the drop I foul looked maybe fishing shallow is going to be an option today I don't know I think he's up in the mouth but he's sort of come back to me I swung that rig out past the past the feed and bulked down so I'm surprised the carp's took it he has right in front of his face and he's just grabbed at it and he's had it more exciting things are happening so let me wally around a second I've not stripped anything out of my pole yet let me can't see him in the sunlight there. It's time for a strip, I think. Get a little bit more abuse. I need him to come up. He doesn't want to come up. Good sized fish. Six pounder by the looks of him. One hour update. Twenty pound on the clicker. I started feeding the down to my right, like I said, over the eight mils, and there's definitely odd carp visiting that area. 
but I haven't come off this line in front of me just yet. So I've just put a carp of seven pounds, my biggest fish so far, into the net. It's took me up to 20. It's took me up to 20 pounds so far on the clicker. Um, got a couple more little silvers. So I've got four carp. I think it's four carp. Four carp for 20 pounds. What I've got. 20 pounds for the first hour is not a disaster, but it's not, you know. That puts us on 100 pound, 120 pound for the end, and I feel like it's going to be a 200 pound aid for the winner today. And I've got a chance on this peg. This peg can produce big weights. It's not, there's not been a lot of people framing or winning off this peg in recent months. Not like it used to. This this peg used to dominate. This peg and uh, peg 11 and peg 5 they used to dominate the venue. And their dominance hasn't been so stark this season. The pegs down the opposite end of the lake doing just as well. So. Or if I drew this peg ordinarily, I'd be thinking, oh, I must, you know, I'm, on a pre I'm under pressure to empty it today because it's one of them lakes, it's one of them pegs, but sure if I am so much. I need to try something a bit different because uh, things aren't working 100% at the moment. Just drop that straight in where all the other pellets are gone and just see what we get. We have actually uh, spooked one there. Quarter past one. So we've just gone three hours in. Um, I'm still fishing here and I'm still fishing down. I'm still feeding down to my right and there's still fish coming into the margins but they've been hard to catch so I've been trying to catch here which hasn't been working for me. So I went a bit long, a bit long, three quarters of the way across and slapped a rig, just slapped a rig for two minutes and I hooked one, got him in. And then I slapped her a bit more and it just weren't happening. I didn't want to start pinging more pellets to more places so I've come in the side here and I'm been slapping a rig and I've had one about five pound just right here in the top kit and four just slapping um, and that's took me up to now 51 on the, 51 on the clicker halfway through the match which isn't where I want to be but it's somewhere it's some fish you know I'm still feeding over this line because that's obviously where I've been fishing all day so I'm fishing right over the top of where I've been fishing all day I'm just waiting and hoping that every now and again I can't I'll be drifting by and I'll just slap this in front of him. Because they are, they're literally coming by and when I'm, when I'm fishing on the bottom they're just giving me false bites all the time and, and they're, they're proper carp because they bow wave off the rig. And they're bow waving so they're not very deep. So that's how I know that it's what made me think to try this. And it worked. It's caught me one fish anyway, it's caught me five pounds and I've gone out there and had I've had one about four or four as well, so I've done nine pounds just messing about with a, just getting a shallow rig out and oh, a little touch on it then. Two o'clock, I'm just fishing a bit closer to me nets now and with the little rig that's right in front of me and I've just got this absolute hippo, literally on my top kit. exactly on my clicker. Caught some fish from down my right hand margin, I caught some fish from here short. Um, I've had some nice fish from both sort of spots. Um, I can't really get a run of fish coming from each or either. I just have to have a little go, try and catch one, come back, swap over, see what I can do. It's been very tricky, very hard work. Got it a second time. I don't know if it's booked properly or what. If this isn't if this is up properly, it's a very big fish. 
There have been quite big fish coming into this edge. I don't know if I caught them. So we had to lead him around like he's hooked in the mouth, so that's good. It's a big fish this is, it could take the hundred on its own I think. Was it a foul looker? Can't tell. We'll see in a second, we'll, we'll get him, we'll get his head up in a minute. That's just a nice fish. Quite as big as I thought it was. Oh, he was in the net. <laughs> he's managed to turn around in my little tiny net. He was in the net and he's, he's actually turned around in it. Very, very lively in here today, the fish. I can't believe how powerful the lively they've been today. Quite going to take me to the 100 mark, but he's going to be leave me feeling like I can do it today. Yes, I don't know if it drops through the water, I think. That's a nice fish, this one. Big fish, this is. Oh, another hippo. Oh, this is what we want for a finish. this one is. Double. Nah, that double figures this fish. or something it's a bit wiry, a tiny stocky or a tent this is. No, it's not too bad, it's a little two pounder. I'm just there now. Just gotta try and bag on the bag these boys as fast as we can. There in that deeper water, aren't they? It's in that shallower water to my right, where there's where I can see the fish, and I've wasted a lot of time. I feel so confident they do, they, but now they've turned up here. About 20 minutes to go as usual. This is another decent fish. Skin Bob. Skimmer. It's, hopefully that's not a sign the carpet disappeared. Got it. We have that on the drop. That's a unit, that is, that is a unit. that shot in pattern and he's had it boom what an absolute hippo tail on it a tail on it it's hooked in a tail or not it's just got its head down it's not hooked not hooked in the tail it's just an absolute hippo even bigger than the last couple I think oh my god Small fish is a tent, this is. It's a tent or a small carp or something, it's a very erratic, jiggery fight. It's like a tent does. Oh, it's one of the 
pretentious. Watch these tents, they bury into your keep nets and they hook your nets. I'm probably getting on for £10, so always maybe a bit more. I've had, I've had two or three tents, this, this will be the third one this size I think, and I've had loads of smaller ones. Powerful, it's putting up a right fight, this is a, pop, this is a good one, this one. because I didn't want to be, I thought I might be finishing short like this and I didn't want to be finishing short and then having to put a net in while I'm doing this although well, the way they're feeding it doesn't matter but it's, you know, it's not right is it, what's this? It's a determined little decent sized carp I think, not massive oh, there we are. it's not one of the tiddlers we do This is one more strip. She's not 